this is why you see that from 12 imams, you find the first imam establishes justice. His jihad is a jihad of patience and silence. The second imam's jihad is what? Diplomacy in the way that he deals with Ma'awiyah. The third imam's jihad is that he sacrifices his life. But you find from the fourth imam is the revival and the preservation of the message of Sayyidul Shahada. From the fifth imam to the ninth imam, you find an intellectual jihad. That is what true jihad is here in this context. The jihad of the intellect, the revival of the intellectual sciences. From the fifth imam to the ninth imam, you have an intellectual jihad. Essentially, when the Western world thinks of a jihad, it thinks of fighting. No, when we teach our children what jihad is, jihad is what? Jihad is a struggle and the struggle starts within yourself. The minor jihad is fighting. You see, that's not our jihad. Our jihad is the intellectual jihad. Our jihad is the jihad of selflessness. Our jihad is helping that old woman cross the road. And our jihad is to help that person who has wronged us. Our jihad is what? When a person slaps us in the face, to swallow that pride and to swallow that arrogance, that tomorrow when that person comes to ask for help, you help them. So really, what is the concept of jihad in the mind of a Shia Muslim? In the Shia Muslim is to revive the humanity and to help all forms of society. That is jihad. When we talk about, and when people, in fact, we don't talk about this. When people talk about jihad of the sword and of the knife and of the gun, that's not jihad. Know that our fuqaha have said, you are not even allowed to fight an offensive jihad. That's what our fuqaha said. You can't attack someone. You can only defend yourself. And as you know, within our human rights, human beings have the ability to defend themselves within proportion. You've been given that ability by Islam. The West gives you that ability as well to defend yourself. But we as Muslims, we are not allowed to fight an offensive war. This is why you find that we are different from them. Their religion is different. When I talk about them, I talk about our brothers, right? Their religion is different. Our religion is different. Our religion is based upon compassion. Our religion is based upon Sayyidul Shuhada. When Sayyidul Shuhada comes to Karbala, he doesn't start fighting first. He says to Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, he says, go and ask them, let's have dialogue. Let's solve these problems. What do they want? They want me to exile? They want me to be exiled in a tradition that says, he says, I'll go to Hind, I'll go to India. But I don't want war. I don't want to fight. I haven't come here to fight. I've come here to guide people. I'm an Imam. You know what an Imam is? A guide towards people. He's here to help people. He's here to take him towards the perfection. That is what Islam is about. So today the problem is this, that in the 21st century, we have been marketed Islam properly. It's not the fault of the West.